new details of the second season of House of the Dragon are revealed. In the past hours, the new showrunner of House of the Dragon, Ryan Condal, has given an interview to the website Entertainment Weekly, where he reveals exclusive information about the second season of House of the Dragon. So, in this video, we will be talking about all the news of the week about this series. And we will talk about the rumors of a new trailer that we could have later this month. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The first news comes thanks to the website Entertainment Weekly, who interviewed Ryan Condal, and he revealed a lot of information about the second season. Part of the news says the following. House of the Dragon is now at that point where the Targaryen civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons can begin. And to emphasize the two sides at play, HBO has dropped not one, but two trailers for season two, which premieres June 16th. One trailer is told from the perspective of the Black Council, the supporters of Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen, played by Emma Darcy, while the other takes the perspective of Dowager Queen Alicent Hightower, played by Olivia Cook and the Green Council, those who fought to put King Aegon Targaryen II, played by Tom Glyn Carney, on the Iron Throne. Season 2 picks up directly after the events of the Season 1 finale, which saw Aegon, Rhaenyra's half-brother, crowned King of Westeros behind her back, even though she was the chosen successor of their father, the late King Viserys, played by Paddy Considine. The news then proceeds to show us part of what Ryan mentioned to them about the second season, saying the following. This is not a story of goodies and baddies, black hats and white hats, Condal says of the dueling blacks and greens. It's a story of this family that's been rent open by this dispute over who is meant to wear the crown after Viserys passes. Some people think it's Rhaenyra, some people think it's Aegon, and then there are other people within who think, why should it be one of the two of them? Maybe it should be somebody else. Maybe it should be me. The fun of this Greek tragedy is seeing, when you introduce a power vacuum to a world like this, how all of these individuals react. My father chose me, his firstborn child, to succeed him, Rhaenyra begins in the season two trailer for the Black Council. He held to his decision until death, and yet, Alicent's son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. In this part of the interview, Ryan tries to explain the dynamics of the war in Westeros. As it is no longer a fight against external enemies of the crown, it is an intra-family fight. But this is something we already knew. We knew that the second season of House of the Dragon would be featuring the Dance of the Dragons. But there is something new that was revealed by Ryan and it is the role of the Starks in this story. We can see that Ryan said the following. Hundreds of years before the age of Sean Bean's Eddard Stark and Kit Harington's Jon Snow, Cregan Stark is the Lord of Winterfell. He's very powerful, Condal says of the character. Everybody's vying for his army. He's quite a bit younger than Ned Stark was, so it's interesting to see the young wolf, the young Stark Lord, and how he carries himself in the world and the burden that's on his shoulders being the Warden of the North. I'm excited for the audience to see and experience that. In Game of Thrones, the Starks were among the most important families. It was even from the blood of the direwolf that the princess who destroyed the Night King was born. If there is a family as important as the Targaryens in this universe, we could undoubtedly say that they are the Starks. Although it is a family that had little interest in dominating Westeros, they were key to saving humanity. And no doubt, it will be interesting to know the role of Cregan in the second season, as well as their stories in the Ice Wall. I think the arrival of the Starks is something that all the fans of this universe are waiting for. We move on to a part of the interview, where we talk about a character that will have a lot of prominence in the next season. I'm talking about Gwen Hightower, According to Ryan, this will be a very important character. 
Freddy brought so much character and humor to Gwen, who until this season was warded away at Old Town, Condal explains of the city, which serves as the seat of House Hightower. He grew up at Old Town in his home base, but now that the Hightowers have been put out on the march, he's come to King's Landing to support his family's stake in the war. Condal explains the show will continue to be about the extended family. We had plenty of POVs to dig into on in the interconnected Targaryen universe, but what about the Hightowers? How do they fit into all this? We thought it was very interesting to bring forward this character who was maybe mentioned in the first season, but not really seen or experienced in any way. How that would impact Alicent and Otto, and what he would have to say coming in from the outside, not having been raised at court in King's Landing. The actions of the Greens to retain power, I think, is something that many of us are hoping to see in this upcoming season, as we have yet to see that military aspect from the High Towers. We have seen that they are quite calculating, and can go as far as committing horrible acts. But we have yet to see this family on the battlefield, and this is about to change. We move on to a part of the news where Ryan confirms that Damon's scenes with Caraxes are at Harrenhal, which confirms that it will follow what the book says. In the trailer, Damon is shown saying, My terms are very simple, he says in the footage. Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen, or your house burns. Harrenhal definitely is its own character in the show, Condal says. It had its own character in the original books, in the original series when Arya, played by Maisie Williams, was playing cupbearer for Tywin played by Charles Dance there. Other than the Red Keep, it's probably the most talked about storied castle in Westeros, and we really wanted to pay service to it. This part of the interview is extremely interesting, because it shows that the book is being followed to the T, and that the fight for Harrenhal is imminent. We conclude the video talking about blood and cheese, because in the trailer of the Greens, we can see a scene that according to Ryan explained, these hated characters appear. Two men, one holding a torch, the other a club, make their way through a hidden passage. Alicent and her daughter, Queen Helena, played by Fia Saban, shrouded in black veils. These scenes continue to hint at the arrival of two characters known in Martin's book as Blood and Cheese. These figures, casting for which haven't even been disclosed, will irrevocably leave their mark on House of the Dragon. All Condal will say to set the stage for their arrival is, a song of ice and fire and Game of Thrones have really conditioned people to expect the unexpected and expect the horrible. But, yeah, that one's pretty horrific. We'll see what people make of what's to come. The arrival of Blood and Cheese in the first episode of the second season is bound to change forever the perspective we have of Rhaenyra's side. And we can't wait to see what the fans' reaction will be when they see what's about to happen. The news about what will happen in the second season is expanding even more, so in our next video, we will be talking about some more things that were released about the second season. But before we wrap up this video, I want to tell you about the rumor of a new trailer. According to rumors circulating on the internet, there is a trailer focused on Damon and Amond. A trailer that will show the contrast between these two characters, displaying the black and the green side, and setting us up for an imminent confrontation. It is possible that this trailer will show the motivations of Damon and Amond, and how they wish to confront each other. As mentioned, this new trailer could be released at the end of this month. For the time being, this has been the news for the second season of House of the Dragon. What are you looking forward to seeing this season? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.